When organizations are going through a merger, acquisition, or divestiture, one of the common things and common stress points for IT professionals is day one activities. By day one activities, we mean the day that the acquisition, divestiture, or merger actually closes. And this is about an organization in day one being able to collaborate very, very quickly with one another. If both organizations are in Office 365, there are some things that can be turned on to allow the organization to start collaborating quickly before you can do your migration. These are things like setting up federations so that you can do free busy sharing and calendars. It's amazing that that one aspect is probably the most important aspect so organizations can collaborate and know when people are available. The other aspect with this to help organizations work together is getting contacts in each other's GAL or in each other's address book. This allows organizations to quickly look up other people, be able to pull that free busy data, and actually collaborate. Another aspect may be changing some of the settings on your tenancy to allow you to do additional sharing options with the other tenant. Some organizations have turned off a lot of sharing options, and you may find that those options need to be turned back on so that an organization can do additional sharing with the other organization. When we start hitting beyond day one, that's when we start want to start planning our integration between the two organizations, and this is driven by data. We have a lot of data collection scripts and knowledge in our MAD blog series, but we also have a great tool that helps you do this analysis, and those are things to start looking at for day two to get yourself ready for an integration in your merger acquisition and divestiture.